Joy Quilts. Today we're dealing with um, a design on the last row again. And the different thing about this design, we just did a video on it. We have taken the design and mirror imaged it to itself in the center, therefore equalizing the left and the right side of the quilt design-wise really comes in handy because most designs start on one side and end on the other and they're not necessarily symmetrical on both sides. So that's what we've done here. So I'm going to move it up just a little further down from the quilt so you can kind of see. Okay, so when this gets to the center, what you're going to see is it reverse itself and go the other way. We showed in the last video how to program in Art and Stitch to do that and then bring it back into the Qmatic and the Bermuda software and stitch it out. Again, this is the last row which sometimes has its own little issues and we've measured to see exactly how much space we have left. So we really want to keep that half to three quarters of an inch at the bottom of the quilt because that's what we have at the top. An interesting way to do that is to reset the safe area on the last row of the quilt and treat it like it was the first row. So you can move your design to the top of your safe area, equalize left to right, and have your three quarters of an inch at the bottom. That way you know you're pretty much where you want to be. And you're treating it like it's its own quilt or like a separate border, really. That works out really well too. This one we tweaked slightly. We took a quarter inch off the bottom to make it go up a little further onto the quilt. There's really no magic formula to say how much a quilt is going to shrink. We have tried. The best thing to do is make your best case and use your formula and then check when you get towards what you can see between the dead bar and the end of the frame. It gives you plenty of space to make a small adjustment up to maybe a quarter of an inch is perfectly acceptable. Once again, because it is the last row, you have to kind of keep an eye on where your, your edge of your quilt is and whether it's actually staying where you put it. Okay, we're coming up to the center of the quilt now and you'll see how it reverses itself and goes out to the other side. This works with most of the designs that we have. There are a few that we would have to take into the program and modify them to get this to work. But this one, for example, works quite well. And in the middle, you really don't see that it's reversed. You don't see a big hole of no quilting or anything like that. And if that was the case, then we would just digitize some more stitches into it to fill that space. And here it comes into the center. It's going to do that reverse. It's actually flawless when you program it in because it doesn't actually Of course it works much better if you don't run out of bobbin thread. <laughs> Momentary pause. <laughs> Okay. 
off. And we did run out of bobbin thread. So I'm just going to pump a bit more bobbin thread onto that and continue to do the same thing with the roll. going to wind a little bit on here because we are on the last row. Not going to need a whole lot. That should do it. I'm just going to flick into that sensor too and tell it that we have more bobbin tights so it doesn't stop. Actually, in a sensor, it's a thread counter, but essentially it works the same way. Okay, so we're going to go back a few stitches. I always like to give myself a little bit of room. In case it stitches a little differently, then that gives you something to pick back out. So we're going to set the machine back on again. It's going to ask where to start. We're going to say the closest point on the design. It's going to load it, and then it's going to ask us I'm going to pull the bobbin thread up, which of course we do. We do, and then we're going to press go, and then we're going to continue. And now you'll see how that pattern reverses. That actually couldn't have been better timing, I guess. down. And there's that little straight line across that we were talking about that where the, the top part of the pattern joins perfectly and there was a little gap at the bottom so the machine just fills in a straight line. It's great if it's a small straight line. You don't want to do it for more than a half an inch or an inch because of course that would look really obvious. So now it's going to hop back up to the center of the quilt and put that design mirror image. And that solves one of our biggest design problems. Very much like hand quilting, you would do this in hand quilting as well. Joy Quilts, joyquilts.com, hotmail.com, Facebook and Instagram.